Do you heard it still look choppy even after exporting them in 60 FPS? Well, don't worry because today I will be sharing the secret on how to get the smoothest edits so people don't doubt that you added on After Effects anymore. So once you're on After Effects and you got the edit that you want to export, as you can see for me, it's just a simple transitioning between two clips using a Y shape. But as you can see at the moment, it doesn't really look good. So we're going to add some real smart motion blur. To do that, we're just going to go ahead and create a new adjustment layer on top of both clips. To do that, just go ahead and press Ctrl, Alt and Y on your keyboard. And it should automatically bring up a new adjustment layer on top of all your clips. Now, as I said, for the effect, we're going to put RSMB. So go ahead to your effects and presets panel and search for RSMB. Select RSMB Pro and drag it onto your new adjustment layer. Now what values you put is totally up to your personal preferences, but obviously the higher you go, the more motion blur you're going to get. So I'm going to go ahead and put the main BG amount to 1.2 and put the main BG sensitivity up to 100 all the way. Also, don't forget that adding RSMB can increase your render time by a lot. But don't worry, this is totally normal depending on what PC you use. Now if you actually want to boost the quality of your edits to the top, make sure to add a good color correction as you can see a good color correction can completely increase the way your edit looks now if you want to have the same quality that i use in my edits make sure to check the first link in the description because i'm running a huge sale on my shop right now if you're just starting as an editor it's a good opportunity to get good presets for a cheap price don't miss out on the opportunity because it's not going to be there again now once all these steps are done you're good to go you can now render your edit now, if you liked this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below telling me what tutorial you want to see next. Also, don't forget about the offer in my shop so I can finally buy a new PC chair. Make sure to check out my Discord channel where I'm on 24-7 so you can ask me questions and I'll gladly be answering them. That's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.